Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to quickly go over background colors in Google Sheets. So creating a background color for a cell in Google Sheets is super easy. Click on the cell, for example A1, and go up to this little bucket here where it says fill color. Click on it and select a color. Let's go with a light cornflower blue. Cool. You can also select a whole range by clicking and maybe dragging across and down. And you can then go back to your bucket and select light green. You can also select an entire column or entire row. All you need to do is select the column like this so it's highlighted and then change the color. Let's go with the light purple here. Nice. Now there are some formatting issues that's, that you will probably want to keep in mind. So for example, if we've got a header in our cell and then we've got some data, data, and perhaps a um, average at the end, then we want to identify these a little bit more clearly. We can do this by going back to our palette and having a look at the color spectrum here. Now Google has a really nice color palette here that makes it easy for you to use consistent colors when you are trying to design your spreadsheet. Now I usually recommend going with one consistent color, particularly for one set of, of information, and only slightly varying things to keep things relatively consistent. So for example, if I have my header here, let's maybe uh, make that a, a darkish green. So let's click on this green here. And then for our two data ones, we'll make them lighter. Okay, so we'll go back up here and make them a bit lighter. Now for our average, let's make this bold. So it really pops out. And then we'll go back up and make this uh, probably darker still, maybe this one. So as you can see, now that we've got this data, this header and this average really pop, and the average draws the eye very easily. Let's have a look at a larger example. So over here we have daily words written of PhD thesis. Um, these are, this is our list of students. Now I wanted to really highlight this column as being a unique column. So I put the student's header in black with a white uh, text foreground. You can see here that it, it pre-shows you what color in the cell things are. So then we've bolted everything down here and just kept it white. And then across the top we've got our header for the weeks in one color. And just to distinguish the difference between week, week and days for the eye, we've put uh, week in a nice little uh, light red and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, days of the week in a orangey yellow color. To separate things by week for the user to quickly see at a glance, we've I've then selected all this range and then highlighted it a light yellow, but kept the following week white and then repeated the process for the next two weeks. At the end, to really make the averages pop out, I've maintained this reddish color to go in line with this main header and then put things in a light gray. So as you can see, it, it makes things a lot clearer. Let's have a look to see what I look at without any formatting and you'll be able to see the difference. Okay. So you can see a big difference between the two. That's all I have for backgrounds in Google Sheets. I'll see you in the next tutorial.